Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So, we are currently in the Bridge Ablaze area, where we are experiencing a memory of the Godhammer bomb blowing up and killing uh, Saint Wide One. And I'm guessing that now we can interact with these light beams because we picked up a trinket from, from Wide One. Torn apart by the force of the bomb, Wide One is a tableau of agony. Any divine aspect has fled, leaving him nothing more than a mortal in great pain. In this broken state, he is beyond any help. Oh, okay, so this is him. Yeah, he's pretty dead, I think. <laughs> ah, so there you go. Now we can hold Wide One's sundial up to the light. The light shines down the sundial's pinhole and aligns with dusk. Aligns with dusk? Oh, right, so we are at dusk, and we can either go to dawn or noon. Let's go to, no to dawn. As you adjust the sundial, the ambient light shifts around you, and the ground trembles beneath your feet. So we're playing with time here, it seems. Why they decided to have so many animations is something that's kind of beyond me. But, okay. So, we're back over here. Uh, we have already One been thing here. we were was being incinerated by Durance's bomb. Okay. So, maybe... Let's see. Let's go to noon. So, noon should be in be between setting up the bomb and blowing up the bomb. Oh, and the, the secrets also come back. Interesting. Yeah, so this is the same thing. I said ah, so now, now is where I was concerned about the fire. <laughs> or the gunpowder bombs. Uh, can I just blow these up and kill them all? Maybe? Semi decent damage. Okay, well, let's bleed one. Give a smite. <coughs> An accuracy. And then this. You can go for the chill fog as usual. This should be enough. Let's speed things up. This guy's dead. Mm -hmm. Let's go in for some lightning. These enemies are quite weak. Uh, let's just do this and then start beating on them. It's just waiting for them to die at this point. And you know what? I'm gonna do something here because this is getting a little bit too much. Which is... Um, I want to turn off... Like when somebody dies having that slow motion effect. It's cool, but it, it gets a little bit too much. This one? Create cinematic shots based on the key combat movements and the user defined. I'm guessing it's this one. Ah, okay, that's much Fine. better, Jesus. Gladly. Okay. Same trap, same hidden secret. Not gonna play around with enemies surrounded by gunpowder barrels. Yet, of course. That much I can say. I like this choke point, I don't like the fact that I cannot see. So I am gonna pull them back, which is something I don't usually do. Because it sometimes it messes up their their coming in over here, but I can't see here, so yeah. 
I'm gonna back up. And buff us up. I feel like I missed a buff. Eh, this one can go. Pew 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 Chill fog as usual. We just wait. Wait, who do I click? Oh, you come here. <clears throat> okay. There's some burning archers over there. Um, for now, I think I'm just gonna wait because let them come to me. Okay, so now you can kind of buff up. Now you can go fight, go fight. I can blind this guy and wound him. Takehu. You can give us some defenses here. Okay, people are coming in. Burning art. Okay, so these burning people are all immune to fire, so I'm not gonna bother with walls of fire and stuff like that. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna try and pull people in. I would love to grab that guy, but I can't. Just pull them over here and then drop some AoE stuff on top of them. Uh, okay, you can go for lightning now. And this fight is basically over. You can also pull a, put a pull in here. So Alas is gonna toss the... Oh, no, he doesn't have range. Well, go for the new default. Just nuke everything into oblivion. So after you do that, I want you to do this. I like this. Okay. <clears throat> Fight done. I definitely think that spell is a little bit too powerful. It... Oh, this is now open. It kind of... Um... Makes me not want to or not need to use what is it? other spells, basically. Which is a bit much, in my opinion. <clears throat> also, this has nothing. Okay. Let us keep it going, then. This wasn't here before, I don't think. Oh, this is like... Wait, what is this? Oh no, I was at noon. This was noon. Or not. The explosion of the Godhammer bomb has ripped Widewind's body in half. It happened so quickly that his face has yet to lose the crease of concern he wore a moment ago. Okay, so yes, this is, this is in between. Although dawn and noon and dusk are like, what, a split second difference? Kind of weird. In this broken state, he is beyond any help. Uh, okay. So let's go to dusk. I'm kind of uh, not understanding here. So this is dusk. Maybe I have to go here. Quick save and let's go. Void gate. Ah, because here I can travel from one place to the other. Okay. Ugh, another one of these puzzles. I'm not. I'm not really a fan of these puzzles. I'll be completely honest. I like puzzles in games. Just, just not this kind of puzzle. A beam. Okay. Same thing. Hold. Let's go to dawn here. <laughs> B 
because there, there's just a lot of... <clears throat> there's just a lot of animations and sequences that you have to go to, through and it takes time. What the hell? Not... Like why are you... Well, this game, me. sometimes. I feel like yes. this... Uh, I'm assuming this is the DLC. It probably is the DLC, given the loading screen. This DLC has a lot more problems than the rest of the game. Damn it! Why can't I remember? The soul of this robed priestess circles around the same thoughts in a pattern reminiscing, uh, reminiscent of pacing. Who are you? She doesn't seem to hear you. I memorized that illusion spell. How can it be gone? Another second, and Wide One will know the bomb is here. Damn it, girl! This is your chance. Hmm. The whole point of the thing is that his soul finds him first. As you intuit her meaning, you catch a flash of memory. Robed priests assembling a delicate mechanism, spiked copper plates housing a fragile shard of Adra. The other houses a piece of Wide One's soul. Durance was right. The bomb worked because a part of Wide One's soul was inside. The mechanism was elegant in its simplicity. When a fragment of Wide One reacted to his approach on the bridge above, it conducted soul energy into the copper and triggered the explosive. A bomb for Wide One, made of Wide One. It was a delicate trigger by design. The work of removing such a critical part will involve no small risk. Ah. Ah, uh, okay. You can't remember the spell to hide the bomb. It's like I'm on stage and forgot the words of the song. How could this happen? Okay, I see. Her soul turns on itself in desperation. You won't hear this, but I'll return your memory if I, ha if I happen across it. Can't think. Why can't I think of it? Her soul dims its luminosity to a speck, what you take to be the spiritual equivalent of a wince. <clears throat> Okay, so we have to find her soul so she can remember how to hide the bomb. And this allows me to go back up. Or do I want to see another... No, never mind, because I cannot, cannot go back from here. Okay, so where, where am I now? I'm back at dawn, right? I think so. So if I speak to Wide One, does it make a difference? <clears throat> and more importantly, if I steal from Wide One, okay, <laughs> I'll get us out of here if I can, Wide One. You're a saint to even consider it. Whatever okay. happened here scattered me in body and mind. I can't leave while I'm shattered. Gather enough of the pieces, and maybe okay. I'll be. St okay. Can we go around? Oh, we can go around. I'll see it done. More of these. Compassionate, corrosive, and unstable. <laughs> oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. Okay. Okay, I think we can end stealth. I think it's kind of safe to move around here. Famous last words and all, but... Yeah, I think it's safe. Because I just have to go back all the way here. And I have to go back to dusk, right? And I think I kind of understand what I need to do. I think... <clears throat> what? Why mind combat? Wait, there... Oh! Wait, but haven't I been here before at dusk? This is very strange. But okay. Sure. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, he got interrupted by something, I think. But, oh, I forgot the Kehu. God damn it. So, Aloth. Let's toss one of these. 
No good, I say. No power. There are some interactions which are really strange in the game. Like, Takehu got pulled and he was like stuck there flying. Not going anywhere. He is apparently idle for some reason that I don't understand. Not even close. Ah, 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 ah. Dude, what was that? Chill out. It was an archer on top of that. The hell? Okay, back up. It usually works. I'm feeling... Whoa! Okay, well, withdraw. Yeah, I just... This stupid fight, man, not giving me a chance to... You know, prepare for anything, it's kind of strange. strange. Okay, he is... Withdrawn, okay, so he's, little, he's fine. Uh, we have crowns for the faithful, we have triumph of the crusaders. I would like to go probably for shields for the faithful. And then most likely go for symbol of Rimmergand. Because this is the one that does not hurt me. Yep. And then lightning, I guess. Okay, Takehu has lightning going. I want to moonwell ASAP and then I want to chill fog on top of everything. I went invisible, awesome. Some extra safety for me. Uh, this cleric is gonna be annoying. So I am gonna blind him and bleed him. Why are you stopped? Fight! What the hell, man? Okay, we have a moonwell. We're gonna have a chill fog. Okay, the priest is... Semi-handled. Right. Just overloading AoE here, basically. Do we have the lightning thing? No, because I guess we got interrupted? Or I used some other spell instead. Yeah, I used this instead. Okay, I'm dumb. I am dumb. Just go for Corrode. Let's try and knock some people away from here. I do not wish them to be here. I'm gonna go for more lightning and then I'm gonna empower a tornado. Mr. Piggy died, which makes me sad. I need more help from my priest here. Let's go for devotions for the faithful. Come on with the lightning. Good. Are you guys immune to lightning? No, you're weak to lightning, actually. We're gonna have a tornado now. Nope, you cancelled it because... Maybe the target died, I guess. Let's finish this bitch off. Okay. We are good thus far. Let's get some more accuracy and then maybe go for like... Oh, this is not party friendly, never mind. Just that. Okay, good. I think I blew the guy up here that <laughs> ran on top of this. He just died. Not even sure why. Oops. I want this and then that. Tornado is doing a lot of damage. Good. What is it? Whew. Silly fight, man. Silly fight. As you wish. No, no, I haven't been here at dusk. That's right, because I never went for this secret. Oh, I want that. How can I... Hmm... How can I get that? Okay. 
Leave it to me. Okay. Let me swap something here. I can go back to this cloak. Because we are not currently well, taking take a lot care. of fire damage. A wandering soul, good. Big safe. Fragmented from wide winning the blast, a splinter of soul essence feverishly clings to a moment in life now forgotten. You dangled your legs over the edge of a dock. In the gloom of pre-dawn, the lake resembled a mirror of polished obsidian. Your father approached with a pair of fishing rods. Back then, he stood as tall as a mountain. He expected you to be ready in the boat by now. What had he so distracted? Echo Widewin. Father, would the morning still come if Aethas wasn't there to draw it over the horizon? He sighed. A foolish question. Aethas is the dawn. His absence would be the death of all, uh, of all light. You are old enough for this to be obvious. What is truly on your mind? Your father knows you well enough to see through this obvious deflection. We till the soil and we plant the seeds, but give thanks only to Aethas for the harvest. Wouldn't life go on without the gods? Uh, if... I, I don't know. Let's go with this one. Before you could finish the thought, the fishing rods clattered to the ground and your father struck you hard enough that you pitched forward into the lake. Your mouth opened with a cry that was quickly stifled by the cold water. He bellowed that the gods deserved gratitude, not an ignorant child's faithless doubt. You should thank Aethas for the harvest and the dawn. Pride will only make you complacent. You were never a strong swimmer. By the time you desperately clawed your way back to the surface, your father had rowed out to the middle of the lake to be alone. Wow. You knew better than to call out to him and interrupt his fishing. You sat on the shore and awaited his return. When the dawn crested the horizon, you didn't give thanks for the warmth it brought. You wanted to remember the cold. What did you see in there anyway? A look of genuine curiosity comes over Edera's face as he levels his gaze to meet yours. Widewood and his father had some turbulent disagreements over faith. Strange thing to think of right before you get blown to pieces, don't you think? I'm... Uh, no, because this was old, right? Oh, maybe he had, he had this memory before dying, okay. I get it. Okay, so we cannot go over there. We have this place that I cannot access yet. Uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to check if it actually would work. It seems to work. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. It might break the game even further. Yeah, of course. You know what this is reminding me of? And it's not really a pleasant memory. It's reminding me of the lava level in Icewind Dale 2. Where you go back in time and it, it's it's so confusing, man. Why do you have to go and this and that? I don't know. Where am I going to go? Uh, noon. Maybe the problem here is me, because like I'm not saying that this is poorly done. It's just that I don't really like um, this kind of puzzle. And that makes the entire experience be a little bit worse, you know. So... Um... Um... Can't do anything here. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wow. When I tab, it doesn't show. God damn it, man. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this DLC that they kind of, in my opinion, missed. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I have to come here at dawn. Memory of Magronite incantations. Probably this is how they can hide the, the bomb. This text of colored incantations is blurry to the point of illegibility, as if the white void has stripped the ink of any meaning. It might still mean something to one of the denizens of Rimmergan's realm. A short passage scribbled in the margin stands out with clarity. Let the scholars bicker how, uh, over how we crammed a piece of white one's soul into the bomb. A little uncertainty never hurt anyone. I only care that the damn thing goes off on time. Okay. 
So now I have to go down there, which needs to be during the morning time, so dawn. We're gonna tell the lady how she can... Um, how she can uh, hide the bomb. And hopefully I can also enter the tower. Yeah, it's the moment before, the moment off, and the moment after. Ah, now it shows. This is silly, man. Hmm. I'm wondering if... Do I actually want... To help her there? Wait, what? No, sorry, right. This is dawn time, I have to go down here. I want to read this to make sure I'm not messing something up. Uh, no, not this one. The explosion of the God Hammer fragmented Wide One's soul. He can't think straight in this state, much less help me. According to Aeoth... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I found the memory of an incantation left inside a tower. I can't read it, but the words may be important to someone in this realm. I found the priestess channeling... Okay. You've got to remember the incantation. Don't forget. Don't let it go. Okay, so we're gonna give her the memory of Magnite incantations. I think this is what you're looking for. No sooner does the book make contact with her than it ceases to exist, absorbed into her memories. You feel the essence of the priestess swell with life and vigor. I... Uh, of course. Simple. How would I forget a thing like that anyway? As she begins the incantation, you comprehend where and how the bomb was hidden. Knowing this, it feels as if a thousand pairs of eyes are observing our progress at once. The illusion fades under their scrutiny. Ooh! This is the God Hammer! Wow. I'm sorry if I I'm seeming overexcited, but this is very special for me. Because in PoE 1, this was one of the... You know, the, the iconic things about the entire story. The heat of Magran's fire singes your face as you draw closer to the God Hammer bomb, which feels poised to go off at any instant. Under layers of copper plating, enchantments and volatile materials, you sense a fragment of Wild One's soul. It reaches out to you in blind confusion. Oh, so if I suck in the soul, the bomb won't actually kill him. Hmm. A parchment thin shard of Adra is positioned inside of a spiked copper trap. When a, current uh, when a current of essence conducts to the Adra, the trap will snap shut and complete the circuit. It would take incredible care to extract the soul without setting off the bomb. Wow. Wow. Use betrayal to embody Durans. Woman, revealed to be the construction of this bomb. Okay. I'm gonna step away because I want to see something happen. I'm gonna blow up the bomb and see, like, what happens here. Force the soul out and detonate the bomb. You extend your will into the mechanism, probing it until you find the fragment of Wild One's soul. You give it a forceful tug. The bomb responds at once, its moving parts coming together and radiating oppressive heat that pushes you away until your world, your world is bathed in flame. Is this just a game over? It kind of makes sense that it is, right? Oh, no, it... Huh? Serious burn. Ah, okay. So it doesn't... Oh! It doesn't count as a game over, interestingly enough. Well, it's kind of cool for people playing Triple Crown. And it's also cool because this is still a deathless run, and I'm gonna keep it that way. <laughs> I'm just gonna quick load, because that's not what I wanted to do, naturally. I want to embody Durance. Which is a really cool option. So use betrayal to embody Durance. Woman, reveal to me the construction of this bomb. 
Suddenly, you're in the memory of the priestess. She recalls your voice to a workshop hidden somewhere dark and secure. There is so much explosive material in the air that a single candle would ignite the world, so the ambient light is conjured by prayer. Are you alright? You sound like you've been eating coal dust. Again. <laughs> she turns to you wearing a frown. Never mind my voice. Give you I, I can I can't replicate Durance's voice. Give your report before I cauterize that festering wound you call a mouth. Well, this is accurate. Your concern means less than the heretical shit I took this morning. <laughs> Speak to me of the bomb. <laughs> this sounds like him. This work has changed you. And not for the better. I love it. She blinks at you and shrugs. She lays out a vellum schematic of the bomb, showing a detailed cross-section of, de of the detonator. It's a delicate assemblage, similar to a trap, composed of brass and adra. The latter is infused with the essence of a saint. Armed with its understanding of the bomb, you know you could disarm it with little difficulty. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one because I think this is something that Durans would say. Excellent work, Disciple. You've earned yourself a break. Now come and roll with me in the stinking embers of our lust. I'd rather crawl inside the God Hammer and die. She banishes you with a wave and returns to her task. You leave the memory wiser for the experience, but it feels like as if you've covered... What? As if you're covered in a thin layer of ash that you can't wipe clean. So, recalling Durance's memory of the schematics, disarm the bomb. You carefully reach inside the bomb, in no time at all you're up to your shoulder in delicate gears and cogs, taking care not to displace anything. Something in the guts of the machinery falls off in your hand, but the gone hammer remains inert. We got the detonator shard. Oh, it's also a trinket. Final flame. One per rest. Foe AoE, fire and burn damage, friendly AoE, restoring health. Eh, okay. The user creates a powerful explosion of fire at the location. Enemies caught in the blast take burn damage immediately and over time. Allies in the blast are healed immediately and over time. Okay. Cool. You are able to reach the other at the heart of the detonation trigger and pull wide one soul free without incident. Your father reached up from the sick bed and clutched at your wrist, his fingers gnarled and skeletal. You'd seen enough of his condition spreading through the colony to know he wouldn't last long. It was a miracle he hung out this long. His breathing was labored, his voice ragged, but his gaze was alert and full of questions that only you could answer. So we can echo wide one here to say, I'll see after the form when you're gone and make sure it stays in the family. Don't worry about mother, she won't know what to do with so much idle time, I don't know what to say. I'll be a good son here. He shook his head and maintained his grip. His lips and nose were stained by the vorless cough, a plague that colored the phlegm purple. To you, it resembled an actor's smeared face paint. He asked in a ragged whisper if you kept your faith. I still thank Aethus for the harvest and the dawn, just as you taught me. Satisfied, he nodded, but then his grip tightened as another fit of coughing crumpled him into a ball. And I'll thank him for the dusk as it settles over you, father. Ooh. The coughing fit rattled to a halt as your father regarded you with an in, in wide-eyed shock. Pry away his hand. You left me to face a cold dawn. Now you can give thanks to the fading of your light. And you can do it alone. God damn. You moved away from the sick bed that, is so that was soon to be a deathbed, closing the door quietly behind you. Then you stepped out onto the porch to savor the last rays of the day. What did you see in there anyway? Same thing. White one never forgave his father. That's a hard thing to carry all this way. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh... There's also this section here, which I know I can reach if I blow up the bomb. Which I'm not sure if it's intended. But I also know that there are some other pieces of... Of uh, his soul that I want. So if I go to Dusk... 
And this is where the puzzle starts getting annoying. Because if I want to check something, I have to deal with an animation and a loading screen. But, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up about it. So I want to get over there. But I can't get over there. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to be... I think I need to be... On the bridge when... Um, on the bridge to switch to dusk. And then from there I can get up there. Hopefully. At least the enemies don't respawn. Okay, so we've been at the tower like this. There's the God Hammer Bomb. So now if I use this again and I go up to dusk. Actually, do I want dusk or do I want noon? Because I think at dusk I cannot move to the left. Yeah, I cannot move over there. I can go over here though. There was a piece of soul there, I think. Okay. Hmm. The piece of the soul is only there if I detonate the bomb. Interesting. Not sure if I want that or not. Let's go for noon. Hmm. No, this this is not helping me. How can I get up there? It uh, during dusk time. Leave it to me. Maybe I have to interact with... Ah! Try and restore a fragment of White One's soul. Or... No, I'm gonna do this... At dawn. Because he's whole there, right? Maybe it's it's indifferent when you give him the soul. So try and restore a fragment of White One's soul. The water, so cold. This day I believe Father wanted me to drown. If my faith was untrue, then I wasn't worthy to be his son. Can I go again? We could have parted on okay. better terms, Father. But your son has too much of you in him. See, Father, I can be as vindictive as you. Any more? No. Uh, well, then I guess my only other clue is to blow myself up. I already have an injury anyway. Uh, oh. Oh, I can... Okay, I cannot blow this up. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit lost. Nothing over here. Yeah, I am feeling a little bit lost. Um, okay, so at noon, I don't think I can do anything. But maybe here I can. So, noon. Oh, unless I change the time while I'm on that tiny bridge. That might be it. Okay. So at noon, I can climb the tower, which I have done. And I can also go over there. Let me just make sure. 
Yeah. Okay. Nothing here. I'll see it done. Okay. Doesn't make a difference here. So I want to go to dusk. And I need to use the portal to go to the bridge below and change time there. Okay, so use this. There is still no soul here. So if I go to dawn, is the bridge going to be whole? There might be enemies as well. No, I just... Ah, uh, because when this... Okay, I see. This this is the tiny bridge that breaks. Okay, okay. God damn it, wasting my time. So it's gotta be dusk and then noon. Ugh. Dusk, portal, noon. And there we will have the, the soul, I think. Because that's when the bomb blows up. <sighs> now... I should have the soul fragment. Or not. Or, or, okay, there it is. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Blade in the dark. A splintered fragment of white one's soul clings to the spot, endlessly recalling some piece of memory consumed by guilt and shame. You drew your sickle across a thin patch of Vorlas. The harvest would be a poor one, but at least that was, shared bur that was a shared burden that no one in Red Serra suffered alone. Yeah, I think he's kind of snarky and he's not very faithful, so... We could use some rain to go with all the sunlight, Aethas. My thanks in advance. As usual, there was no reply. You drew the sundial out from under your shirt, but the light had waned too much to judge the hour. Wide one. You flinched as the chiming of a bell echoed from some distant source. A sensation of warmth spread across your back. Who's... who's there? The daylight blossomed to life, exploding into many colors that filled the sky. You turned to face it, shielding your eyes until you realized that it didn't hurt to look into this brilliance. A glowing figure loomed before you. Do you still thank me for the dawn and the harvest, wide one? You dropped to your knees. You felt, led, uh, you felt laid bare before the light of Aethas. Every word spoken in hate, every punch you threw first, every time you turned your back to the dawn, they were all his to judge. Forgive me, my lord. The luminescent figure flickered in a way what, that, reminisced, that reminded you at once of a guttering candle and a chuckle. Do you think I'm here to admonish and cast you into the lake? No, I would draw you back to the warmth for a higher calling. He knew. Suddenly you felt like that child again, vulnerable and alone before a looming, all-powerful presence. Fear not, for you are chosen above all others. You will be the light to bring about the rebirth of an empire. An empire? It was gibberish to you, but Aethas probably knew something you didn't. Of course he did. His words filled you with a warmth and confidence that you have never felt before. If we do this, we do it as partners. Aethas didn't need to affirm your statement. You knew it would be true. The sickle fell from your grip with a clatter and as a hand reached out from across a great distance to touch your brow. A light stole over your vision. Much later, you awakened the changed man. What did you see in there anyway? Wise one chose this fight for himself. He and, he and Aethas shared the bond. I suppose that's better than Aethas forcing it on him. I always wondered about that. A lot of folks did. Okay. So now we are... Uh... 
Can I climb that area now if I go to dusk here? Is my question. Because I think that's the only area that's left. Mm, God damn it. I can't. So how can I reach the... Oh, do I just have to go down like this? Are you serious? Oh my god. If that's the case, I'm gonna be upset. It, it, it doesn't look at all like it's a possible path. Yeah, I, I just didn't notice it. Sorry. To all of you screaming at the screen, go left, go down. Well, here I am. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, legendary. One dozen stud heavy armor. Don't let him through. Plus 15% damage with disengagement attacks. Plus 10 accuracy with disengagement attacks. Okay. Scorched by the God Hammer. Plus 2 burden armor rating. Eh. It's not particularly interesting. When the weather is knocked unconscious, they deal significant burden damage to nearby enemies. No. Protection of the God Hammer. While near death, the weather gains bonus armor and deals burden damage to melee attackers. Man, if I'm near death... I don't really care. Hold the bridge. The weather gains bonus engagement as their health decreases. Ooh. Okay, that's that's actually interesting. Stall for time. Nearby enemies have minus 40% stride for 4 seconds after the weather scores a hit with a disengagement attack. Okay. Interesting piece of armor. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. But it is interesting. Let's pick up the soul. Fragmented from wide when in the blast, a splinter of soul essence feverishly clings to a moment in life now forgotten. Dawn rose over the mountain pass where you camped your forces. The first rays warmed the tents and roused your armed congregation from slumber. Evon Dur Bridge is, was, a speck on the horizon. Scouts say that a dozen soldiers hold the crossing. What do you think they can accomplish? You spat in the wind and considered your options. No one said this would be easy, but you started to wonder if the world even wanted a saint. The Deerwood certainly didn't. They must have something to believe in. Something that could turn the tides against us. You were only thinking aloud, but without warning it became one of the rare moments when a familiar voice interceded on your thoughts. Aethas. It's possible. Our adversaries do not lack for motivation. You flinched as the presence asserted itself. Aethas had been preoccupied lately, spending days in contemplative silence, disting distancing himself from you. What do you think, old friend? Could this be the end of our long march? You, Aethas, considered your answer with care. The inevitability of things always came easier to Rimmergand, and in this moment you envied him. So I can speak as Aethas, Gon, or the Dawn Stars. You and I may stumble, but our legacy will live on, if not on this frontier, then another. All things are reaped in their course, wide one. Maybe, but death isn't the ending you think it is. Embrace whatever comes. I'm going. I'm going to go with gone. This is the the aspect of Aethas associated with death and harvests. Saying so yeah, all things are reaped in their course, wide one. Wide one nodded, absorbing your words. Why try and stop us, though? Don't they want to see the light as we do? For some reason it was always hard to tell uh, telling Wildwin the truth. Maybe all the gods were out of practice. You already knew about you already knew about the bomb, and you decided not to act on that knowledge. But Wildwin deserved an answer, even if it wasn't the entire truth. So Aethas knew the bomb was gonna blow up and kinda kill him? Change is agonizing. Mortals will fight to avoid it, but it always catches up to them in time. The night brings horror, but it's necessary. Kith will always rise against that which terrifies them. Sometimes Kith need to learn on their own. We are naive to think that showing them the way is enough. This one. Wide one looked out on Evon on uh, Dur Bridge and wondered if he was ready to face the dusk. His thoughts were a placid lake. Then he spoke his mind again, this time taking you by surprise. 
Those defenders are looking past their faith to stand against a god. They are here to fight for everything they built and planted together. Wise One was beginning to see the point. It was your sorrow to know that he wouldn't live long enough to, to fully appreciate it. Kith are supposed to face the dawn together, not to depend on it. Our first duty is to each other. You wanted to tell Wide One how proud you felt, but he no longer needed a father's approval to know when he was right. That saddened you even more than knowing that Wide One had seen his last sunrise. What did you see in there anyway? A lo okay, so same thing. Aethas wanted Wide One, everyone, to believe in a world where Kith had control over their destiny. Interesting. Aethas knew about the God Hammer, but he and Wide One crossed the bridge anyway. These are both true. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Starting wars, knocking over castles, sucking out souls. He sure has a strange way of showing us. I agree. Okay, so we have, I believe, all of the memories. Okay. So we have to go... Excuse me? Ah. We have to go back here. And we're gonna go for Dawn, which is when we can speak to Wide One. And I'm guessing we get a memory if we mm, disarm the bomb, and we get a different memory if we blow up the bomb. So this one is a cool trinket, like a, an emergency button. So I like this one here. One hundred percent enemy crit to hit chance with non-veil piercing attacks minus fifteen percent damage. This is also good. This guy has lost in time, which I think is better. You have a grimoire, and I have my summons. Hmm. I'll keep the summons for now. Quick save. Restore the last missing fragments of Wide One's soul. As all the essence you gathered on Evondor Bridge converges on Wide One, his soul brightens with the flash. Then his eyes snap open as a tide of revelation washes over him. Wide One, awaken. Oh God. I... Thank you, friend. I'm struggling to understand it all. But my mm. thoughts are clearer now. He looks evil. <laughs> Wide one wobbles with on his feet. His expression of bewilderment shapes into a broad grin as he recovers his bearings. I think I accept why this needed to happen. But it is only human to feel conflicted. I'm guessing the cycle is broken now. Unless you feel like taking it for another go around. I can wait. He smiles lopsidedly. There is a lesson. A purpose to the God Hammer that I failed to grasp. Wide One looks out on the bridge, paying particular attention to the men and women rallying against each other. Aeothis wanted the people of the world to stand tall, without gods propping them up. The God Hammer didn't just tear Aeothis from my body. It drove a wedge between gods and kith across Aeora. And isn't that just a version of what he always wanted? Hmm... I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm gonna go with the second one. I always thought he wanted to expose the work of the Unwithans. He did. But in the end, it was a difference of two rivers flowing into the same ocean. Taking on that burden of suffering wasn't in Aeothis' original plan. But it served him well enough that he was content to keep his distance for a few quiet years. Wildwin shrugs. The matter seems to weigh on him less than before. Now that I'm free, I can feel Oblivion tugging at me harder than before. We won't have time to savor the victory, friend. Wide One looks down at his hands, which even now seem less substantial as the white void draws him away. He doesn't seem to mind. Okay, I'm guessing this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Seeing as I helped you, maybe you can lend a hand against the dragon. I might have guessed you didn't come this far just to pull me out of a bad situation. 
At the risk of sounding ungrateful, it's been ages since I took up a pitchfork against anything larger than a bale of hay. <laughs> You'd do better without me. Really. Uh, really? If you have no faith in yourself, then you missed the point of the Saints' War. Uh, what are you saying? Aethas wanted Kith to stand together. If you leave, then you are betraying his lesson. You are fleeing to the safety of oblivion when you should stand and fight. Aethas knew that action, even if it's misunderstood, is always better than Zion. First one. Aethas wanted Kith to stand together. If you leave, then you are betraying his lesson. I'm not sure this is what he had in mind. But you make a good point. Hey. hey. Point me toward the fiend that means you harm, and I'll drag it down to oblivion with me. Onward. Widewin gestures for you to take the lead. Going into battle alongside St. Widewin. Every day brings something new. Traveler of the Void. And we completed the quest, the Bridge Ablaze. Okay. So I think this means that... Yeah, enter the Dragon's Lair. There's little more I can do in Rimorgan's realm to prepare for my confrontation with Neris, Neris Killas. If I'm to pursue her, I must descend to the pit she opened in the Shattered Passage. Yeah, buddy. Oh, God! I paused in time. I paused in time. How many enemies are there? It's, it's not just this one, right? Oh, crap. Yeah, I got spotted. Uh, go over there. And of course he has friends, right? Of course he has friends. Okay. I thought this was done. I was gonna say, well, I'm gonna finish the episode. This time it's on time. Everything is going well. Nope. <laughs> I can never assume these things. Never. Okay, uh, I'm gonna blind him and wound him. Okay, speed up. Oh, there's one guy right here. And this guy is going for Mr. Piggy. Okay. My next target is gonna be this guy. Okay, we have our buffs. Um, so, not sure what I want to do here, honestly. I think perhaps an Archimedes Wondrous Torment and then follow it up with Fears. And after that, possibly a corrosive skin on a couple of people here. Okay, you can go for lightning, which is going to hit everyone. Sounds good. Okay. Pushing people back. Wonderful. Let's finish this guy off. And then shoot this guy. And after you're done with that, you're going to toss a tornado over there. Perfect. Yeah, we're good. Man, the tornado is amazing. Oh, you sons of bitches. That is not fair. Okay, back up. <clears throat> Grab him right there. Uh, this is the frightened thingy. Let's try and frighten people here. Okay. And then possibly go for devotions for the faithful. And I'm gonna try and keep them away from me. I thought that was all of the enemies. God damn it. Okay, they're busy. This guy is near death. I'm just gonna finish him off. Okay. 
I actually don't want this. Because it's gonna pull it there as well. I'm gonna go for another Frighten here. And then just spam Chain Lightnings. Seems good. Okay. Tornado. This time it's not empowered, but that's fine. We're good. More lightning. He is basically dead. Just toss him some tiny missiles. <laughs> Just because, why not? Dead. Good. Okay. Ending with the fight, that's fine with me. Okay, so I am going to end the episode here because as soon as we cross this, we're going to go into um, the Shattered Passage where the, the Spirit Lady is going to talk to us, which is going to be dialogue and all that. So I'm going to save that for the next episode where we're going to be confronting the dragon. I am excited about that. <laughs> Uh, so, my friends, as always, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some PoE2 Deadfire. I hope you guys are enjoying the adventure. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. We shall all bask in, in Shanxi's greatness.